Hi everyone! Good to see you back. Now it's me again, I make one and call me Axie. of this DJI Osmo Mobile 3. So we're going to tackle a bit review and features of this gimbal. So this gimbal won't work unless you will have your phone. So in my case, I'm using my iPhone 11 Pro Max and which I believe that this is really fit in this gimbal. And first of all, remember to download the DJI Mimo apps in app stores for those iOS users and also for those Android users of course, you can download it in the Play Store if I'm not mistaken. First of all, you should remember that you open your Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. In this gimbal, you will see that there is uh, an arrow, a red arrow here. I hope this is not blurry. Arrow where you can, it will guide you where you will put your phone. So, let's start putting it. It's a bit easier than uh, the normal selfie stick. So, let it be like this and we will use the M button. Press and hold. Now it's activated. So we can open our DJI Mimo apps here. And of no found, you just connect this. Here. In this video, it's really important to know the number one, two, and three. We might use that most of the time. Okay? So let's press the M button once, see what will happen. It turns to the photo mode. Let's click again once. It goes to the video mode. Let's press the M button twice. One, two. Portrait. One, two. Landscape. So let's press it three times. One, two, three. It will turn into standby mode. One, two, three. Turn on. One, two, three. Standby. One, two, three. On. <laughs> It's fine. So let's move to the record button. For the record button, when you press once, recording, once, off, recording, and off. So let's turn to the photo mode. Let's see what will happen. I'm going to press the record button once. It's taking a photo. So now let's move to the zoom in and out. So as the name says, it's zoom in and out. Let's see. Zoom. Out. Zoom. Out. And zoom. And out. Isn't it beautiful? Look at that. And you know, you will notice that there is really effect on this um, zoom out. Now let's move on to the control stick. This is the control stick. So when I press like this, here, here, oof, one, two, three, four, five, oops, one, two, three, four, five, let's just wait, let's just play around, wow, oh, I have my slipper here, so it seems like you are having a tour in my apartment, isn't it, yeah, boom, okay, that's fast. Mm -hmm. Basically, that's the um, use of this clip, what they call this, it's the control, the control stick. Now let's go to the trigger button, which is this one, okay? So, the main function of this is when you press like this, it stabilizes your camera. It doesn't move, especially when you have this in your hand, you will notice the difference. See, if I will release it, see what will happen. It feels like it's, you know, it's too smooth, but 
uh, you cannot control over the gimbal. It's like dancing, like this. See? <laughs> it's it seems like you are arguing with a different person. You know, you are argue, arguing with your friend. But when you press this one, you can control over your gimbal. So it's more on the stabilization of the phone. When we press it once, see what will happen. So this means that the active track is activated. So you will see, you will notice that there is a green box in there. So when I press it, it's um, the main subject of the video is the camera because it catches the camera. So we will go up, go down, side and side and here. One more. Yeah, it's flying. Okay. Now, if I will press it once more, it will stop. So I'm going to put this camera the other way around, like um, not in the original position. So what will happen is when I press it twice, one, two, again, again, one, two. So it means it will go back to its original position. What if we will click it twice? What will happen? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Ah, uh, one, two, three. Wait. <laughs> one, two, three. <laughs> one, two, three. So it changes the um, settings of the camera into uh, like the camera which is in a selfie mode or if you are you want to take the videos or photo using the back camera. Right? Did I explain it well? <laughs> oh my god, those camera camera thing. Anyway, I hope you get my point. I want to turn off this gimbal by pressing the M button twice. One, two, three. Now it's in standby mode. So what's the use of this trigger mode? When you press it twice, one, two, it will open again. Again. One, two, three, M button. Now trigger button, one, two. Take one, two, three, one, two, three. Let's move on to the most important feature of this gimbal and let's make it brief and concise. First, when you click this home button, you will see this. And next is here, down there, there is an auto when you click this. Here, when you click the M, it means manual. So you can adjust the iOS, the shutter, and so forth uh, based on what you want here. And for me, I would like to keep it in auto mode. Next is down here, you can also change the resolution and the video frame rate. Now here, there is uh, a glamour effect which is you can adjust it. So for example, I want to customize it and make a photo for myself, selfie, here. You can click or here, I will click the slim, smooth, brighten and everything on a full level. So this is my face. Next, moving forward to this, the glamour effect. So I will turn it off in a normal mode. Next is, here you will see the three dots down there. Uh, this is uh, where you can see the most, you know, the feature of this gimbal. Let's start with the four small boxes here where you can find the general information about the gimbal, the gimbal's name, or the device name, and the device serial number. So I'll turn it back to the video mode. Here, down there, so there's one important thing, the grid lines. If you click this grid line, you will see the lines here. And also, when you click the grid plus diagonal, you will see more specific lines here. I think this one is more on taking a video when you keep the subject in one place. So this is more about the measuring the videos or this, the subject of your, you know, videos. Here, down here, there is also one press active track. So when you open this, see what will happen. Like this, you can click this once, the trigger button, and the green box will be activated. But when you close that one there, this won't work. So for example, I'm going to turn this off. I will click like this, so it won't work. So that's the function of that one. So I will also show you how it works by tapping the screen. So you can also use like this and then the green box will appear. So either you can use the trigger button or tapping the screen. 
let's create this middle part here so i hope you can follow me let's start down there which is how to uh, calibrate the gimbal i'm going to show you how to calibrate it so put it here and don't touch it and click the calibrate and it will start calibrating by itself so you can go to your kitchen and have a coffee for a while because it, this takes some time not too much but yeah you can wait for a while and you see like this it's just moving by itself like it has its own world now the gimbal calibration is successful click ok Next is there is a press M button. When you click this, quick menu will give you more options, like by clicking the M button once. So you can choose or here by using the control stick. Here. Let's go directly to the sports mode. Here, when you activate the sports mode, this is more on taking a video uh, with a fast movement. You can also use your trigger button by clicking twice, but the second click is you, you should press it hold, like this. One, two, hold. And the sports mode disabled because I enable it anyway. Next is the follow mode. For the last but not the least, the follow mode under here. So this follow mode is more frequently used wherein you can take a video in all three directions. So this is more free. And also you can use this when you're taking a selfie or fast track or beautiful scenery outside. So this is uh, the follow mode. Just um, watch this, check how the movement of the gimbal here here now let's move to the tilt lock all i know here is uh the pitch axis will be locked so this is good on taking a videos in you know forward and backward motion uh, for example you're taking a video when someone is running or jogging and for the fpv it's more on uh same like with the follow mode but it will give you more stabilization so let's check out the spin shot how it works so when you use the control stick, it will roll the gimbal camera. So from the word speed. Like this, like this, and like this. Okay, that's all for the follow mode. There is an exciting feature of this gimbal. So I'm going to show you how the panorama works. Let's go here because there are two options. So first in 360 degrees, let's click like this. So just hold the gimbal like this. and it will take a photo by itself and the result is generous so next is let's use the 180 degrees click one two three and hold like this steady and generating panel let's wait Let's go to the story. The last one, but not the least. So there are different stories here that you can take a video nicely with the music. So let's choose here. The leisure. So when you start it, so let's hold the gimbal like this and click. And it will automatically take in a video by itself. And next one, let's click next. Next. Mm -hmm. Next one, I'm gonna move the camera here. Two, one. And it will go up. You can also go like this, depends on what you want. And then click one more time. I wanna take a video on this side. Okay. And down there. So for the preview come like this here i am where the movie started facing at a photo they've taken space tree flying through the skies and battles happen everywhere in the end of this video i took some videos using the hyperlapse the time lapse the slow motion and some panorama and also the story mode if you have more suggestion or comments or questions especially regarding this gimbal just comment in the section below down in the section below and also if you want more updated videos just click the red button which is the notification bell thank you so much for watching and i hope you like the video and you learned something today especially about the functions of this gimbal 
and for my future videos I'm gonna take I'll try my best to take some videos outside my room thank you so much and be positive always have a nice day